bright yellow fields of rapeseed flowers across British farms in the spring. But did you know that rapeseed oil is actually made from the seeds and not the flowers? I'm going to be heading to Hill Farm Oils in Suffolk to find out how do they turn those black seeds into delicious golden rapeseed oil that's traceable, safe and farmed with care. Good morning, Emma. Welcome to Hill Farm. Would you like to come and have a look around? I definitely do. Let's go. Come this way. Thank you so much for showing me around. It is literally as yellow as far as the eye can see. It is incredible. How did you start getting into rapeseed oil farming? Well, rapeseed has been grown in this country for Oh, a long time, since 1985. And mum and dad came to the, to the farm in 1967. When we got to 2003, 2004, we were thinking, whoa, we're growing all this rapeseed for commercial vegetable oil, which is great, but actually, can we cold press it? Can we filter it? Can we, can we challenge the olive in, on the Mediterranean diet? And that was really the big question that our, we asked. Also, because of its saturated fat value, and it's lower than olive oil, so actually, as an oil, it's healthier for you. And we started to crush it, and it was really exciting to have our first few bottles on the table after we'd put some oil, uh, crushed some seed and filtered the oil. And then we started to cook with it, and we started to test it, and we started to see what sort of a great product it is, really. Your seed, you were saying it comes from the UK, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So all of the seed that we plant to get this wonderful yellow flower, obviously every, every one of these is a little seed that I've planted. Um, and they've grown to this and all of that, that uh, seed breeding and the varieties that we have, that's all British, it's all Red Tractor assured. So the certification process for Red Tractor is all the way through, right from somebody else designing the varieties, for me growing it, for us to then harvest it and put it into a bottle. Everything is, is British, everything's traceable. And Red Tractor's thing is that it's safe and traceable and farmed with care and I yes. suppose caring for the environment and the wildlife is that a big part of what you do with them? Yes it is because it's about you know environment and the red tractor scheme as you said being traceable and being safe that's that's as much for the food product as it is for the environment as it is for the people who work for me and it's all about just helping us as as farmers and and primary British producers um, and secondary British producers to be able to bring all of those things together and to help us organise ourselves really, to make sure that we're doing everything as best we can. Yeah. On my last visit to Hill Farm earlier this year, I learnt all about the little seeds that come from the bright yellow flowers to create rapeseed oil. And now I'm back a few months later to learn all about the harvesting, processing and bottling. So now we've come to the field, what's this bit of kit, what does this do? So this is a moisture meter, uh, so we bring it to the field and we take a sample from the field by hand and we put it into this tube and then we can use this machine here to tell us what the moisture is. If it's below 10 or 11% then I will go combining and then we can dry it in the shed as well. So then how do you do it? How do you get the seeds into the machine? Okay, so the easiest thing for me, I just go to the crop and I grab a handful of pods. Okay. They're very brittle, you see. When they're ready, you can see how brittle they are. Right. And the seeds just naturally fall out into your hand. Oh, okay. Can I have a go? Yeah, go for it. Got all sorts there. Squash them in your hand and then what we'll do is we'll put them in this tube here. And the whole point about um, everything we do is to get the best quality. So through the red tractor scheme as well, it helps us to make sure that we're doing the best quality of seeds to give us the best quality of oil. So then show me what we do next. So then here's the machine and we can pour our seed into the cup. Push the button for test. And the crucial moment. Crucial moment. Okay. So here it says H2O 10.6. Right. So we're below 11. Um, so that gives me all the information I need to know that I'm ready to go combining. Yep. So we can stick our thumbs up and let everyone loose. Fantastic.
There's no average day on a farm. But what is a kind of day in the life of harvest? We will come in in the mornings, either at seven o'clock if we haven't been working late the night before, or nine o'clock if we have been working late, and then we will service the combines, service the tractors and trailers, check that everything's working for the day, and then we're also really at that point waiting for, whether there might have been a bit of mist overnight, just waiting for the crop to come ready. And hopefully by 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, we will be combining and then we will go through till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, and we will go from field to field and we will grab the grain, the rapeseed, and we'll put it in the shed, um, and then we'll monitor it from there. As much as farming is about the crops or you know the animals, if you take care of animals and all that kind of thing, it's actually all about the weather, isn't it? That is the biggest thing of farming. Uh, it's that you are literally just farmers fighting with yeah. the weather or trying to work with the weather yes. all of yes. the time. We, we are we are absolutely a play on the weather. At the end of the day, we gamble on the weather because everything we do is related to the weather. We get good yields with good weather, we get bad yields with bad weather. Uh, we have long, tiring days when it's really hot and sunny and it's perfect and it's brilliant. And when it's raining, it's not so great for harvesting. So what's the difference between the rapeseed oil that's produced by a red tractor farmer yes. to the rapeseed oil that's produced by a non-red tractor farmer? Well, the red tractor is obviously important from a safe point of view and a farmed with care point of view. So all of everything we do that we've talked about through the growing process, we, once we've grown it, we want to put it in a shed that, that is clean. It's dry from the weather, it's vermin proof. All of these things make sure that we look after uh, the red tractor rapeseed absolutely perfectly because we want the perfect seed to create the perfect oil. So we store it in the shed after harvest and we leave it there until we require it here. We bring it here in 240 ton batches and we uh, use this conveyor and the conveyor there to fill the big green bin at the back um, which holds 240 tons of rapeseed which means then we can then use it through this first bin and through the seed cleaning plant which basically removes the pod and the stalk and that sort of thing that we saw in the sample this morning. Um, and that removes those so we just purely have the rapeseed. The rapeseed is then held in the three bins at the back which then feed the presses 24-7, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So the rapeseed is, is coming through these tubes just falling naturally into these hoppers here. Yeah. So this is rapeseed in here and this is like a bit like a corkscrew right. so it's, it's just going round all the time and it's picking up the rapeseed here and it's putting it through a small hole at the end here. Because we're squeezing it through a small hole yeah. and it's creating pressure and you can see the oil dripping out there. So all, all we're doing is, is basically putting the seed under a lot of pressure yeah. and squeezing the oil out. So you're just squeezing it yeah. and that's the beauty of it. Yeah. So it then runs down that there all the way to the end and into this container okay. and then into the next container because that yeah. settles out a little bit. And then this is a plate and frame filter. We just pass it through blotting paper of five microns. Yeah. So very, so you, you wouldn't get any meal or anything through it, yeah. And then, so we filter it, and then it looks like this, yeah. which is then pumped all the way up and stored in our, our big tanks here. And then from there, it goes straight to the bottling machine. I had a lovely time with the Hill Farm Oils team finding out how they grow those beautiful fields of bright yellow flowers, then harvest the tiny black seeds and press it into delicious rapeseed oil. It's clear to see that the red tractor standards go hand in hand with the love, care and attention that Hill Farm put into every single bottle of their delicious rapeseed oil. Look out for the next episode of How Do They, where I'll be looking behind the label of another of the nation's favourite Red Tractor Assured products. Okay, and they've told me that the best bit about the combine harvester is that they've actually got a fridge in here. So I'm just going to uh, steal one of these sweets. No one's looking, it's fine.